Welcome to a demonstration of Niche Genetics. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can start working with the system so that you can perform your own searches. Once logged in, you can enter any keyword you like inside of the keyword field and click on search. Or you can come along and work with any of your recent searches that you've performed. Niche Genetics will save up to 30 with the oldest one being deleted. Or you can come along and start discovering new keywords and new opportunities by working with the niche discovery feature. Okay, so for this example, what I'm going to be doing is doing some research in front of you so you can see exactly how this works and how you can perform your own research as well. So as you can see from my researches, uh, so, so from my research, I've got things like hair loss, hair loss in women, shampoo for hair loss, um, best shampoo for hair loss. So I'm actually drilling down and finding many keywords and I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get long tail keywords for your own niche and how to get the most out of niche genetics um, in a different video. But for now, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use this yourself. Okay, so I'm going to type in hair loss in men, for example, and I'm going to click on search keyword. Now this, now this process can actually take up to a minute, sometimes a little bit longer, but usually much, much sooner. Because what Niche Genetics needs to do, needs to do now is perform many, many queries. It's going to perform three queries to Google itself, get the top 10 competing sites, get and it's going to get the competing sites in um, quotes, in all in title and in broad. It's going to get the ad word competition. It's going to scrape the top 10 competing sites. It's going to get related terms from Google. It's then going to go ahead and visit them sites and it's going to go and get the off-site optimization for them with Majestic SEO, Moz.com and everything as well. And it's got so much more to do. Obviously, it gets long tail keywords as well with the average search volume and CPC. But I quickly want to scroll down here to show you these ends here. As you can see, for LSI keywords and for tags, sometimes you're going to open up the search and the LSI keywords and tags are already going to be there. But other times it's going to say loading, please wait. Now, the reason this happens is because Niche Genetics takes a little bit longer to visit all of them 10 sites, to cross-reference the text with each other, and then to find popular and common terms that are used on them sites to actually rank in Google, which actually forms the theme of your keywords. Now, what Niche Genetics does is it actually loads up the data for you. So it'll load up the actual summary page for you so that you can see how competitive the keyword is, how many monthly searches you have, and lots of other things about it, including AdWords um, and ad copies, um, so that you don't have to wait for this data to load before you get to see everything else. But once it's ready, as you can see, it automatically loads here and then the tags automatically load as well. Um, so anyway, let's get back and let me show you exactly what this data means to us. OK, so it loads with the monthly searches and the CPC. It'll give you the competing sites in Google, which is broad in quotes and in all in title. And this here, guys, is from USA. OK, so this is USA monthly searches and USA CPC. Now, if you're a global, if you're not in the USA, then don't worry whatsoever. You can still use niche genetics based on these actual searches. And I'm going to be showing you how in another video. Basically, it's very, very simple. When you find a keyword that's searched for a number of times in the USA, then you can more or less be 100% sure that more than likely these keywords are going to be searched for even more globally. And the way to do that is to quickly download the keywords, add them into the keyword planner, and you'll see exactly what you you'll see exactly what I mean. And this actually gives you the search results as well. So the competing sites in Google. So it's really cool. Um, and I'm going to actually be showing you another video to show you exactly how to get the best out of niche genetics. We'll show you and show you exactly how to work with all of these areas in um, on their own. OK, so um, we've got a difficulty score here as well, and I'm going to be showing you exactly how we calculate this difficulty score in another video. Um, we also get the lowest and average page authority, domain authority, trust flow and backlink count. OK, you get your long tail keywords, you've got your related terms, you've got your competitors in Google and you've got your paid competitors, which are actually paying um, ad AdWords to show up in Google. You can click on view full report near each one and a new page will open um, showing you all the data. So, for example, you can sort these by average monthly searches first or the CPC first or the lowest amount of sites that are competing in Google. Um, and when you find low amount of sites competing in Google with some good search volume, then it's a good idea to go and check them because they are the kind of um, keywords that you're going to be able to get ranked up on the first page of Google very, very quickly. And again, I want to be showing and going over this in another video. You get your competitors, you've got your LSI terms, which builds up your keyword theme. As you can see, because these automatically loaded after the page was loaded, we don't actually have a number like we have here. 
um, on top of these here. So what we can do is quickly, quickly click on refresh and as you can see the numbers pop up and it now tells us exactly how much data we have. And if you want to minimize any of these areas guys then you can minimize them um, just so that you can start focusing on other areas if you wanted to focus on only certain boxes. Okay, let's go down. You've got AdWord copies as well here, guys, um, and that's where it stops. You don't get categories, you don't get suggestions, you don't get how-tos, and the reason we don't get these guys um, is because Niche Genetics tries to load all the data for you, all the data that means the most to you to start off with to make that initial decision as to whether you want to continue with your research or you know what this keyword just hasn't got enough monthly searches or it's very difficult and it doesn't it, you know it's it's not going to be a good thing for me to or it's not going to be a good keyword for me to target in which case you can go ahead click on search again and get different results uh, sorry search again for a different niche um, and what you can do again guys is also go back over to hair loss in men and you can and all the data will be almost instantly displayed to you because it's already been searched for. Now, if you did like this keyword and you wanted to continue with your research, you can click on get data near any one of these. And again, Niche Genetics is going to go out there and find category suggestions, how to's, trends, questions, and whatever you're actually looking for. Um, and it's going to bring back the data down here. If you don't see a number on there, guys, you can always click on refresh if you want to see how many categories or whatever are found. As you can see, we found 31 categories in this, and you can actually go ahead and um, have a look at it from here. So um, for this, we've got hair loss in men. We've got things like black body boots. We've got causes, cause, cure, estrogen, facial, um, medical, prevent, how to prevent it, preventions, um, and so many more as well, and remedies. So um, it's just the kind of categories to give you exact to give you ideas on how to group your keywords together. And I'm going to be going over all these in a different video. So anyway, this is exactly how you can work with niche genetics, guys. Um, it initially loads up enough data for you to make an initial decision um, whether or not you want to drill down even further um, and find out about other products and see what products they are selling about hair loss um, or to find out, find suggestions or what not you. But you can only click one of these at a time. Um, so you can only click, so if you've got get data working here, you're not gonna be able to click get data here. As you can see, it says another request is being processed. Um, but once the data has been got, then you can go ahead and click any one of these again. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and say, please wait, we're getting the data for you. And it's gonna go out there and try and get those suggestions and everything as well. So anyway, the good thing about niche genetics is once you have performed the search, then all of the data is in our database and you're going to be allowed to pull that data and retrieve that data um, almost instantly. So as you can see, we've got some suggestions here as well. So they can take a little while to get these suggestions. But as you can see, you know, our system, it goes out there, gets thousands of gets hundreds and hundreds of suggestions, but then it works in an it works with its own little algorithm to remove ones that are just gibberish so the majority of the suggestions and things you're going to find down here are going to be good solid terms like you know hair loss in menopause hair loss in men's legs hair loss in men's beard um obviously menopause might not be the best one um <laughs> when it when regarding men um but but this is something that we've got and we've found suggested by the search engines Okay, and the cool thing is, again, guys, come back over to here and you can perform your search. Or you can either pull up a recent search here or you can add the same search in here again, um, hair loss in men. And it's going to re it's gonna recognize that we already have it searched for and you're going to be able to get the data from here. So anyway, guys, this is exactly how you work with this. And if you want to download the data, let me just show you how to export all keywords. You can export all keywords um, and then open them up and I'll show you how the software does it. Towards the top, it'll give you the initial data about what is the monthly search is, the cost per click, the lowest and average competing sites and trust flow and what not you. And then it'll give you your LSI keywords, tell you the one phrase, two phrases, three phrases and four phrases if found. And then it'll give you your suggestions, what your main suggestions were. And of course, if you want to find the if you want to download everything separately so just the suggestions and you'd go over to full report and get just the suggestions if you can download just the long tail keywords then you can do that by just going over to each one for example view full report and then on here you'd click on export towards the bottom and it will download all this for you but when you click on this here um, here then it downloads the lot um, when you're on the dashboard page or the keyword summary page. Okay, so you've got related terms in here as well as found by Google. Here's the long tail keywords. As you can see, we've downloaded them all in the file for you. And the long tail keywords, nearly always, we only try and find keywords that do actually bring search volume traffic. And when you see something like, say, 20 searches, something like, you know, black men hair loss treatment, then you can more than likely be 100% sure globally the searches for that is going to be much, much more. 
Okay, you've got your tags in here as given by the top 10 sites. We give you the categories here as well. We give you the organic competitors here as well. They're all in titles in here as well. The products from eBay, ClickBank and Amazon as well. And then you get all of the AdWords competition and data as well. And should you have actually gone ahead and got the um, trends and if you would have got the how to's and you would have got other data as well, then of course the software would have actually downloaded all of that data inside of this CSV file as well. So that you've got everything you need to dominate this niche um, in one one place now in my next videos guys the next videos are going to be about how you can use this data um, and how you can really drill down and find some real good long tail keywords um, and how to analyze our competition as well but when you actually want to use niche genetics to perform your initial searches then this is exactly what you can expect but then our but then what to do with this data is what we're going to be discussing in the next videos so thank you very much and I hope you enjoy working with niche genetics